Did you know most of the cloud rides on undersea cables? Microsoft doesn't just rent the internet, it builds massive private highways under the ocean. Azure connects over 60 regions worldwide. Hundreds of thousands of miles of fiber link those data centers. Your files, games, and AI requests often travel on Microsoft's own network. One headline cable is Maria. It runs from Virginia to Spain. Maria now supports roughly 200 terabits per second. That's enormous capacity for transatlantic traffic. Newer cables like Amitié push capacity even higher. Microsoft and partners have run trials at hundreds of gigabits per channel. That makes AI scale data moves possible across continents. But cables can break. In 2025, cuts in the Red Sea disrupted regional routes. Azure didn't collapse. Traffic was rerouted within hours. Latency rose for some users, but services stayed online. How does Microsoft do this? With software. An SDN backbone controls every flow. Traffic stays on the private network as long as possible. If a cable fails, software reroutes packets instantly. If demand spikes, capacity shifts where it's needed. Microsoft also uses many edge locations and direct peering partners. That keeps latency low and packet loss down. ExpressRoute gives enterprises private connections up to 100 gigabits per second. So next time your OneDrive syncs instantly or your game loads without lag, remember, it's not magic. It's fiber, ships, and smart software working together.